inspired by the nature and scenery that I saw during the hike because there are actually a lot of interesting things to look at even though most of the time I'm looking down at my feet so I don't trip. However, that also makes looking up to the sky a lot more refreshing when I do look up. Also, I haven't been doing much exercise because of COVID-19, so this was especially refreshing as long as I didn't think about all the schoolwork I had to do afterwards. I believe that before doing anything, you always need a bit of loading time. Or at least, I definitely need not only a bit of loading time, but quite a lot of loading time. <laughs> Um, and it may be boring because it seems like nothing is happening, but for me, it's a very important part of the process. Also, I am indecisive, so it may take me a while. And even when I do start drawing, I don't actually fully know what I'm going to draw, but I think that's a good thing because by keeping an open mind, it becomes so that my artwork is kind of leading the way. And I personally think it's much more fun than planning out every step because it's like finding out what happens along the way, which is more interesting, I think. Like, for example, if you have something in mind that you want to draw and you only want to draw that, then it closes your mind off from exploring different things. And if you aren't able to reach that perfect image in your mind, then it feels kind of frustrating and disappointing, which are not very good feelings to feel. Or at least I don't like feeling that way. So not knowing what you want to make and feeling a little confused is actually a good thing sometimes. And it can make art more fun. But with that said, having a general direction can still help. So now I'm going to actually talk about what I'm drawing. 
At first, I was using watercolor to try and emulate the effect of the moss, but I didn't really like the result of that, so I decided to use watercolor pencils instead. And also because I put too much water on the page, the page started to crinkle, and I felt like a bull because even though the page started warping and pilling, I still kept adding more water for some reason. And I'm glad that didn't break the page, uh, but I think the warping actually did add a lot of texture, so it's all good now. <laughs> And I don't actually know if I'm using the watercolor correct because I was using it the way I use oil paint. Like, uh, I'm quite new to using watercolor, so if I'm not using it the normal or like the way people normally use it, don't come for me. Yeah. And now, on to what I am drawing now. I'm just drawing, um,. The grass on a field. I'll put the photo here that I saw or took a photo of and I thought was really pretty so I decided to draw that next to the moss that I drew painted before. Yes. darker colors to create depth and shadow of the field um, but it kind of looks like I was eating chocolate and then accidentally dropped some onto the painting uh, yeah okay so since I have nothing better to talk about I'm going to talk about how I hate art <laughs> yes you heard me right um, lately my relationship with art has actually been quite good but before that, there have been many times where I have despised art. Actually, no, not that's a strong word. There have been many times where I didn't really enjoy art as much as I used to. But it is not that art is a bad thing because I do really love art. But sometimes I just get so stuck and I really hate what I draw which in turn makes me really hate myself basically like an art block and it does not feel very good but i guess they are about to happen from time to time and i think it is important to remember that you can get over it it is a very dark period but i a hundred percent guarantee you will get out of it and there are not many things that you can a hundred percent guarantee so that say something i also used to feel very guilty actually i still kind of do when i feel like i don't like art anymore or like when i get an art block and feel very stuck because how can i continue on this path and say i like art if there are times when i actually don't like it and I guess you could say I have a love-hate relationship with art. Another reason why I feel guilty when I feel like I don't like art as much is because I see so many people who seem to love art so much and it feels like I don't love art as much as they do and I realize that I shouldn't judge how much I like art based on how much I think other people like art because I make art because I like to and not because I want to like art more than other people. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this makes sense but I hope it does. Well, why am I exposing myself like this? <laughs> okay and now I am trying to draw a cow. So I wanted to draw it on my iPad first, so I used my iPad to take a photo of what I drew and drew a cow on top of that, but I feel like it didn't look the way I wanted it to be, so I still went back to 
my sketchbook and decided to draw the cow directly on it. I didn't really do the best job at drawing the cow though because it just looks like a black blob. And this is the end. Thank you for watching and I hope you stay for my next video. Uh, comment below if you want and like the video and or subscribe. Yep, bye.